Clay Patton on the Rural Radio Network. Let's check in on that livestock trade now as we come into the settlements with David Erickson of Ag Optimus in Akron, Iowa. And David, not a fun day to talk to livestock here, both live cattle, feeder cattle, flirting with these new limits at CME Institute. It had to go back and check to see actually where the limits were. What do you make after such a day of aggressive selling? Uh, yeah, you know, I think a lot of it, um, it, it has to do with the cattle and feed report and, you know, the way that we opened up, we were mildly lower and, uh, you know, I thought it was actually, um, given the price action that we experienced last week that maybe the cattle and feed report was, uh, baked in and, you know, it, it was being drugged down by the outside markets, but then we'd seen the outside markets, uh, you know, the stock market and some of the energies kind of recover and um you know the cattle just kind of continued on a on a nosedive and you know i think that um you know a lot of it is just liquidation um you know people running for the door and a lot of times when you get into these situations and a lot of if everyone's running for the door where the the door is still the same size so um you know that's what i what i think that uh, we're seeing here we'll see what tomorrow what tomorrow brings i i suspect that we will open lower you know given the fact that the fed live cattle closed on their you know closed limit down and everything closed under a bunch of pressure and didn't really try and come up for air but you know we'll see after we initial get that uh, first initial wave of selling out of the way um there was some cash that was uh, traded already earlier today um a dollar to two dollars lower up here um so that's not all that negative but that is david erickson again with ag optimus do remember trading futures and options of all risk of loss may not be suitable for all investors do consider these risks before investing